Hi, I am Mundane Designs, and I'm a gamer. Um, <clears throat> now, what does that really mean to me? Uh, I'd like to call myself like a, a full spectrum uh, casual gamer. Um, full spectrum basically means that I play board games, I play video games, I play war games, I play uh, tabletop uh, role playing games. Uh, you know, I, I played uh, collectible card games. Um, I've played just normal card games like poker and stuff like that, and um, <clears throat> I don't I don't think it's just like basic black and white. You know, you do this one thing and you're a gamer, or you don't do this one thing and you're not a gamer. Uh, so uh, Retro Rivals basically did an open tag and and everything. So I'm I'm looking to have my reply, and this is my actual reply. So. Uh, the first thing they came up with was PC versus console. And honestly, uh, guys, I follow uh, what I want to play. That, that's it. It's like if, uh, if the best experience of a game is on PC, I'm going to go with PC. If the best experience of a game is on console, then I'm going to go play it on that console. If a best experience is, is on a specific console, yeah, I'm going for that specific console. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, online versus offline. Um, I, guys, I don't really see this as an issue. Uh, this is mainly just a personal preference. Uh, I prefer to play with friends, um, but I tend to avoid uh, comp like super competitive arenas, and that's mainly because uh, you know games that re basically revolve around that and those that environment. Um, tends to be fairly toxic, or at least it's toxic to me. Uh, next up, we're going to be talking about single genre versus all genre. Um, again, guys, this is this boils down to personal taste. Um, if you hate a particular game type and others shame you for it, they're being elitist jerks. And honestly, their opinions should not be taken at all you can take their opinions and crumple them up and throw them in the trash because they shouldn't mean anything to you at all um honestly if you're having fun then why should you care what anybody else has to say about whether or not you're a gamer or not um retro versus modern honestly it's all good in my book um i play everything and anything uh now there again you can boil it back down to like any kind of personal preference or anything like that and you know if if you want to do that you can um some people uh can't play anything from the you know anything older than the nes because visually they just can't get past it and that's fine <clears throat> some people uh hate how all the modern new consoles and all the modern new games require all these patches and updates and everything feels half baked when it comes out. That's fine. You're allowed to. You're allowed to have your opinions. Um, honestly, I'm here for the experience. I'm here for the fun, and that's what I'm chasing. And if that means that I'm going to be playing on an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation Five or my PC or even my phone. I will play a game where I can play a game. Now, <clears throat> one of the last things they went over was uh, beating versus finishing. And guys, I've, I've got a soapbox here. Um, and this might take a minute. So, some retro games had their difficulties increased artificially to battle the rental market. Uh, there are games like Bare Knuckle versus Streets of Rage, uh, where things were changed purely based on the U.S. video game rental market. Now, um, there there are all kinds of things that you can go back and look it up, and you know, compare the Japanese version, which that was not a market that had video game rentals, versus the U.S. version, and for some reason, almost. You know, nine times out of ten, the U.S. version is a lot harder, and it's because they wanted people to have to spend more time beating the game. And since the average rental was about 
three nights or so, that's that's the target they aimed for, was you can't beat this game in three nights. Um, and that's, that's part of how this is not exactly a, a fair comparison. Um, also, uh, the world and technology were different back then. So, yeah, like I said, this comparison is not black and white. And I'll agree that there uh, there is a difference between 100 between beating a game and finishing a game. Um, beating a game is basically 100% of the game with you know seeing you know, everything the game has to offer you, and you don't use any cheats or exploits to get there. Finishing a game is basically just seeing the end of the game by any means necessary. Um, either by an exploit, or by lowering the difficulty, or not completing all the side quests, or um, you know, various other stuff like that, or you even using a cheat device. Uh, now, I think that Retro Rivals uh, love you guys, but I think you missed out on one little thing, and um, this one I'm going to call Casual versus Hardcore versus Addictive. Um, I myself am a casual gamer, and what casual to me, what it means is uh, I plan my gaming around my life. It means that if my wife needs wants to go out somewhere and go do something, we're going to pick up and go do it. Um, I'm not going to tell her no, I'm going to, I want to sit here and play PlayStation 5. Uh, hardcore gamers, they're a little different. They plan their life around their gaming. Basically means that uh, they will tell their wife or their significant other, no, I'm, I'm playing my game right now, and we can go do that after I'm done. Uh, now, the last one is the addicted people, and uh, they do gaming instead of life. Uh, these are the people that you read about in tabloids and stuff like that, where it might be a little bit exaggerated or whatever, but, um, you know, there's uh, all kinds of articles out there that you can just have anything said about gamers and, oh, they're bad. And it's like, no, we're, we're not bad. We're having fun. Um, I think gaming, uh, with all of the stuff that's been going on lately, has exploded and... Anyone who wants to be divisive or exclusive or anything like that, they're just being an elitist jerk. And uh, honestly, I think they're doing it to try to make themselves uh, feel superior to others. And it's just, you know what, let's, let's just be like, recognize that the fact that there is a wide spectrum of gamers and... Uh, some of them are hardcore, and some of them are casual, and some of them are unfortunately addicted. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take some time out of my day to reply to Retro Rivals. I thought they had a really great video. Uh, I'm going to leave it in the description of my video so that you can go and take a look at their stuff. Um, but you know what? That That's basically it, guys. Um, uh, you know... That's it for this episode of Mundane Designs. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it, although however in, impromptu it is. Um, if you like what you see here, I've got a, I've got Patreon. I've got, uh, you know, this YouTube channel, which you can subscribe to. And uh, every once in a while I do live streaming. Um, but, you know, have a great day. Uh, I, I make videos on the 1st and the 15th of every month. Come back and see me sometime.